Well, this is my review over the send down SA12 subs. <clears throat> I've been playing them for roughly about a month now. And I don't know if you guys can see the coil. But it's still like brand new from factory. And I've been playing them on roughly about a thousand watts RMS. And just recently my uh, iPod started clipping. And it's been clipping for like, I won't say like two, three days, pretty hard. And they still look fresh. Um, this round's still pretty, pretty um, stiff. The cones are still stiff. Um, like you guys can tell from my other videos, they get pretty loud, decently at least. Uh, surprise everybody that comes over for sub boxes and gets them made. Uh, I'm really pretty quality speakers. Uh, if I were to have to buy them again, I definitely would spend the $390 shipped. I think they were. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is sort of uh, my review over them. I definitely, I mean, if I had the cash and I needed to buy them again, I definitely would. Uh, recones on these are only $45 sh plus shipping. So, I mean, it doesn't break your wallet once you, if you do blow them for whatever reason, but... As you guys can tell from my past videos, if you haven't seen them, check them out. I mean, I've been pushing these subs pretty hard. And like I said, they're still pretty pretty stiff. Um, here's another look of the voice coil. A little bit more in-depth look, but I mean, they're still fresh. I had roughly maybe four pairs of Type R's, uh, CVX's, CVR's, and they're definitely the loudest so far. I may end up doing a build with like four SA8s or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, comments, you want to see a video of these playing, once I finally do get a better iPod and a better head unit, then I'll throw them in and throw the DD1 on there and uh, calibrate the shit out of the distortion. <laughs> Later, YouTube.